It was very devastating. Please tell us what justified this. One year ago, hundreds of Texas law enforcement officers raided a ranch belonging to the Fundamentalist Church of Latter-day Saints. In an unprecedented move, all 439 children living on the ranch were taken into protective custody as several men faced charges of marrying underage girls. That's probably the worst thing a mother can ever go through. You feel worthless. You feel your pain clear from the inside out because everything you love is taken away. You come home and there's your husband and you say, I'm here, but no children. A year later, only one FLDS child remains in protective custody, but even with their children returned, it's clear the members of this group still feel persecuted. You know, we're a people that have been raided and, you know, we've had our privacy violated. And I think that uh, we're still looking for the answers. And we didn't believe we were guilty of what they were accusing us of. We still don't. And a year later, we're trying to come to terms as to why they treated us this way. There's no question that sexual abuse occurred at the YFC ranch. Patrick Crimmins with the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services says abuse was common and condoned on the ranch and that his agency had no choice but to remove the children. Erring on the side of making sure that all of the children were safe, the decision was made to remove all of the children. There really isn't anything, um, given the circumstances at the time, that we would have done differently. DVPS points to evidence like this photo of a bed taken inside the FLDS temple, a bed they say may have been used in marriage ceremonies between adult men and underage girls. It's a charge church members adamantly refute. There's no bed in there that isn't used for religious purposes and has nothing to do with uh, some sort of a perverted purpose. While those who live on the ranch continue their quest for a return to normalcy, they still think about the raid, and some wonder if it could happen again, especially the children. They sure are concerned with it. They are, go out of their way to make sure that mother's right there by them, where they can hold my hand or feel me go till they're asleep. And then they, yes, it's a great concern to them. In all, 12 male church members are still facing criminal charges associated with the raid. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, San Angelo, Texas.